Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Now, yesterday we talked about this in the rumors. We even did a topic. We were talking about Fat Joe and Little Mo and the remarks that Fat Joe made at uh, Versus. Well, Little Mo was upset about it. Fat Joe apologized numerous times. He apologized the night of. He apologized on social media, and he apologized on his live. I am apologizing to anyone I offended. We was in a rap battle. I got besides myself. But to Little Mo, I love you. I seen Little Mo before it happened. Hugged her, kissed her. After I realized that I went too far, I went up to her and tried to tell her sorry. I told her sorry. I told Vita sorry in person before we even left the building. Before we left the building, I threw the tweet up. I'm sorry. I disrespect it. I love you guys. Now, the only reason we're playing this again is they have squashed their beef. They have... Uh, it wasn't she, a beef. Well, she accepted it his apology. It was a misunderstanding. She accepted his apology, and it seems like they are letting uh, bygones be bygones, and they are moving on. Uh, she posted something on her Instagram yesterday talking about blessings, and she was excited about the other night. Fat Joe responded, I love you, Mo. She said, I love you, Joe. It seems like they had a conversation and things are okay. Yeah, that's it. No more story. Doesn't nope. matter what anybody's opinion of the situation is. Fat Joe apologized, which is what you should do when you offend someone and that wasn't your intention. And uh, Matt, Mo accepted it. And, you know, everything's onward. I salute to Mo. I, I sent Mo some uh, healing energy yesterday. Okay. And, and and Joe, you know, he... He sent us some flowers, too, behind the scenes, you know what I'm okay, saying? Because Joe is a classy guy. Yes. And I told Mo, well, that's beautiful. He should have sent you a Birkin, but you know the flowers. <laughs> he sent him a Birkin, man. <laughs> I did. I did. Talk, stop with that Birkin. I told Mo that yesterday. I said, good job. I said, I said Joe's a classy guy. We know that. But should have sent a Birkin. No, he should have. <laughs> Shout to Fat Joe. Shout to Joey Crack. The big, the big, big, big show. Biggest show. All right. Now, uh, everybody was talking about the verses also, how they said Nelly walked across the stage and hugged Ashanti. So... During a live uh, conversation with Fat Joe, Remy Martin, Ja, and Ashanti, this is what Ashanti said about the hug. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since we broke up. I don't know, it's six years or something. So I didn't know what to expect. Is this something still there? Is it like, Stop is playing it a... with me, Ja. I wasn't expecting it, but it was positive. It's, you know, you know, Nelly's single now. Yeah, but I ain't. So. Oh, I ain't. Oh, <laughs> mercy. All right. Well, Nelly, he was on the Big Tigger show and he talked to Tigger about uh, his thoughts of the whole hug situation. It wasn't just like that, man. I said what up to everybody, bro. But, you know, it was like it was there. It was there. I didn't want no uncomfortable feelings or uh, nothing like that. And I um, I just said what up. It was all good. But I said what up to everybody. But they ain't <laughs> that. Ashanti just proved that, you know, whenever you, you know, break up with somebody, this, it, this, that's why you got to keep yourself together. What you mean? Like, just in general, like, the way she looks, you got to keep yourself together because, you know, we go to your social media, check on you to make sure, you know, you, you're still doing good. But if you're not doing good, it's a part of you that's like, well, you know, I didn't look, I didn't, I'm not missing nothing. But when they looking good and they glowing, you're like, damn, I messed up. Now, there was a time, Charlemagne, where you were petty Charlemagne and you would go to old Facebook pictures of old classmates to see how they looked to see if they were still doing bad. Do you still do that? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm healing, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm a work in progress. So I'm healing. You know what I'm saying? I do that every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm healing, just brother. Go back to you know what I'm saying? I'm a work in progress. You Especially know what the I mean? ones that doubted me just to see how they do. But you know what, though? I don't revel in that. I don't revel in seeing nobody doing bad or looking bad. I send them healing energy. I truly do. That's what I do. Whenever I get those thoughts, when I do go to Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> when you go back. And, I, and I get those thoughts before I laugh, I send healing energy. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. I don't laugh. You can't do that because you never know. Right. Them tables turn. You Be don't right. know. I'm going to start doing my push-ups today. All right. Now, Cat Williams, he talks about would he possibly do a versus battle and would he be interested in versus? And this is what he said about it. I started versus. The first versus ever promoted was Steve Harvey versus Cat Williams. It was the underground king of comedy and sold as versus. So we don't need to ask me if I would have any interest in things that I am the originator of. Comedically beefing is almost cheating for me. I have over 10 specials, so I don't have to pick but 
two jokes from each special, and I've already deaded anybody whose last name ain't Pryor anyway. How would they do a comedy versus, though? What do you mean? Comedians have been doing that forever. Like, like comedians been, uh, been, no, comedians been going one-on-one against each other, snapping on each other forever. Snapping on each other is different, right? But you'd have to do a full set, right? You got um, 30 no, you minutes, could, you so could, I got you, 20, you got 20, I got 20. Like You could go joke for joke, and it actually probably would be easier than a, than a versus because your your reaction is going to come from the crowd. So, like, let's just say Cat Williams goes against Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey tells a joke, you can gauge the audience reaction. Cat Williams tells a joke, you can gauge the audience reaction. That Actually, com, uh, uh, co- comedy versus would be less subjective than a music versus. Some comedians need ramp-up time, though. Like, you know how they got to set a joke up? Nah, not those guys. Yeah, he, like like Kat said, he got 10 specials. He can just choose a joke from every special. You know what I mean? All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got to talk your president, President Biden. We'll tell you about what he's doing and all the crazy stuff he's talking about. We'll get to it next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 